In today's video, we will show you around the village of Southampton, New York on the east end of Long Island. Did you know that this town was first settled in 1640 by English Puritans and that it's one of the oldest English settlements in New York State? Yes, it's true. We will show you the downtown area with the shops, restaurants and parks, the sandy beaches, the luxurious mansions and the Southampton Arts Center. Today, the village is home to an affluent population with many well-known figures residing in the town. The population triples in the summer with many people from New York City renting summer homes and flocking to the white sandy beaches. Southampton is about two hours by car from New York City. If you don't drive, you can take the Long Island Railroad here from Penn Station or the Hampton Jitney coach bus from any point in Manhattan. As always, we hope you enjoy the video and please hit the subscribe button below. So it looks like they're um, adapting to COVID-19 and they ha this is uh, an art gallery, I believe. So they have all the art out here in the lawn so people can just come out here and check it out. And they have the, interestingly, they have the art um, spaced very far apart from each other. Um, and this is the Southampton uh, Art Center. You can see there's uh, another piece of art down there. There's some art on the tree. Um, just a really cool place we uh, stumbled stumbled upon. looks like that's a little stage where they have maybe um, music or something or a speech but right now obviously the there's center. no right now obviously there's no get-togethers oh. okay if you want to get updates from them don't forget to sign up on their yeah. Instagram at Southampton's Art Center that's a cool piece right there right that's a cool piece We're about to leave the art center and we found some more really 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 cool art and it looks like there's these busts of it looks like ancient Greek and Roman Emperor it looks like uh, you know busts of Romans or Greek very interesting um, you see it looks like uh, Julius Caesar or Augustus Caesar I would say something like that but there's all these busts here of all these men in the ancient uh, Hellenistic or Roman style. See, there's more over here. And here's the leader. In the Roman Empire, they would say Augustus. And um, actually, you want to just mention to me that um, this actually is um, a bust of Caesar Augustus. Um, sorry that the... Uh, doesn't go so good there but um it's Caesar Augustus who was uh I guess in those days that was the title of uh um that was the title of Emperor of Rome funny Rome was a very long empire it's interesting because they used to worship the Roman the Roman gods and they spoke Latin and uh eventually became a Christian empire because Constantine um, you know, legalized Christianity and moved the capital from Rome to Constantinople. So, but this is Julius Caesar and uh, some more busts here. We're going to say hi to Ioana again.
now it looks like this is a more um, a busier street here. We're on the true main street where all the restaurants are. Um, lots of Porsches, lots of BMWs, lots of nice restaurants, uh, little boutique shops, a lot of real estate agents here. Obviously real estate is a very big business out in the Hamptons. Many people would like to have a nice home here in Southampton. Um, it's a great place to come in the summer. Um, even in the winter or the fall, this is a great place to be. It's very quiet. Um, you know, a lot of privacy, a lot of land out here. You have the ocean. Um, a lot of nice shops, nice dining, nice boutique shops. gonna go over here just to try to avoid the people a little bit and show you the main street here's the main street so everybody uh, parks diagonally here on the streets very popular restaurant here Dopo Argento seems nice just gonna go around here quickly looks like this is some sort of municipal building for um, I believe Southampton is a village I'm going to check that later for you. This is the municipal building. Nice little BMW here. Also, a little bit of information. Southampton is actually a village, but I believe it's also a town. So on Long Island, you have all these things called villages or hamlets. Uh, and there's many different villages or hamlets or census designated places within a town. Um, and the town has jurisdiction over certain things like, let's say property taxes or police. And then above the town, you have the county and then you have the state. So it's, uh, it's very interesting in Long Island, many different little villages and hamlets like Southampton have their own specific rules about like police officers, um, police departments, uh, parking permits, um, water zones, fire zones, that type of thing. So everybody, every little village has their own way of doing things. Um, for example, this is Southampton Village, but if we go to, let's say the town of Riverhead or, you know, let's say Bridgehampton or East Hampton or some of the nearby towns, you'll see that they do things just very, a little bit differently very different from most parts in the country but Long Island is uh, it's a unique place it's a unique place I'm gonna go down here Herrick Hardware one of old businesses as long as I've been coming to the Hamptons I've seen that business here actually the sign says since 1865 so that's pretty cool A lot of little flags here. I'm just gonna keep walking. London Jewelers. Piccola Bella. Nice little boutique uh, clothing store. Hildreth's Department Store. Established 1842. So there's a long history here in Southampton, going back to colonial times even. And many of the people from here have been here since colonial times. And the next village we're gonna go to is gonna be the village of Sag Harbor, which is a few miles north of Southampton. It's not right on the Atlantic Ocean, but it's closer to the Peconic Bay. And it's just a little quaint village, has its own charm. 
Um, and you can walk around, it has a main street, it has some nice restaurants, has some nice uh, boutique shops. It's just a nice place to live and to visit. We're gonna try to distance ourselves so we're gonna go around um, all these people eating at this restaurant right here you can see everybody's enjoying their lunch it's a I want to say summer almost in fall so late September but you know still summer officially A lot of cars parked here and you can see they all park diagonally. Little benches where people can sit. Actually we'll show you a sign on the benches there's some signs that say to stay six feet apart from people. So that's cool. Some more boutique shops over here. Juice press. I love juice press. I don't think they're open but when I used to go to the gyms, when gyms were still open, I used to go to Juice Press all the time and get, you know, protein shakes, green drinks, that type of thing. A little expensive, but you know, you want to put the stuff you put in your body, you want to make sure it's, you know, it's, you only have one body. So you want to make sure you're putting healthy food and eating healthy and you're staying healthy so that you can be able to travel and enjoy the beautiful things of life. What's up guys, CK Traveler here, and we're here at the Rogers Memorial Library in Southampton Village. Now you might think, well, this is a travel channel, so why are we showing you a library? Well, I just wanted to give you some history about myself in, in general. Um, I love traveling, but obviously if you're a student and you have a lot of time, you have to spend a lot of time studying, um, it's really hard to travel, but let's see, how can you do that? So for me, when I was studying, doing my master's degree in accounting, I um, needed a safe space or a quiet space to study. And in my apartment where I lived at the time, there was a lot of noise from the neighbors. So I went to the libraries on the weekends after work to study. Um, but I liked to, to travel and see places as well. So what I would do is I would drive to nice towns like the Southampton Village or somewhere upstate or some, somewhere else and find out if there was a nice library there where I can study quietly. So I can spend three or four hours studying, and then when I was done, I can go out and see the sites of the town. So I like to call that educational tourism. Um, so any, any of you watching who are students and would like to you know, see more of New York State or you know, anywhere in the world, really, um, it's a really cool thing. And you know, thinking about it, you, nobody really thinks of that. You know? When you think about studying, you, th you just study in your house, right? Or in the local library. But, if you wanted to go upstate or to Pennsylvania um, or somewhere cool, you know, you can see the sites and you can also study at the same time. So Rogers Moore Library, I actually used to come here when I was doing my master's degree. Um, just a thought for all you students out there. Wanted to share that with you. So guys, we found a really secret passage in Southampton Village and we're going to check it out. It looks really cool. Actually, we're just going to wait for a second because there's somebody that out there and we're trying to practice social distancing. So uh, we'll go in there. Actually, she just left. So we're going to go check it out. If we have to come back because of social distancing, we'll, we'll turn around. <laughs> but here we are. Looks really cool, right? What do you think, Iwana? <laughs> 